All right, what's going on, Shalix Rich here, and welcome back to uh, another video. Today is the day after Labor Day. It's scorching hot out here, like 95 degrees. We've got pretty clear skies and uh, like very little wind out here. The water's clear too, as well. So I figured uh, I might as well do like a jetty treasure hunting video for the afternoon right here, or for the first part of the video. And then because of you guys who commented on my last treasure hunting video where uh, you know you wanted me to try and catch fish on whatever I found on the jetty, I figured, you know what, we're gonna do that today. We're gonna you know dive first, then take whatever we find. Hopefully we find you know one or two or three decent baits. We're gonna take that fishing and hopefully catch some fish. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready to jump in. It's freaking hot out here. So let's hit it, hopefully find some cool stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so uh, that was a nice little dive. Uh, you know, we didn't really find anything too spectacular, but uh, what we're gonna do is go back to the apartment, you know, take a look at what we found and uh, see if we can catch any fish on it. All right, let's uh, show you what we got. So first off, we uh, pulled up a couple clumps of braid that was wrapped around some boulders. We got a five ounce sinker, four ounce pyramid sinker, a couple barrel swivels, nice little bucktail right here, which I was actually kind of stoked to find until I found out that the hook was rusted out. And uh, you know, there's a three way swivel and a clip attached to the bucktail. Uh, you know, if this was your rig, um, you know, next time you are fishing with some bucktails, don't use a clip and a three way swivel, uh, and you'll probably get more bites. And uh, the two best finds uh, for this dive was hands down the uh, Super Strike Little Neck Popper right here, which uh, we're going to clean her up, put on a couple split rings and a couple hooks, and uh, we're going to take this plug fishing today. Definitely a good find. It's a sinking Little Neck Popper. And then the next good find we found was uh, this needlefish here with uh, you know all the paint washed off it. The middle barrel swiveler here it got rusted out and is gone. But what we, what we can do is attach a split ring and a hook on the back and just use the tail hook and uh, that'll be perfect for uh, you know bluefish and striped bass as well. So we're gonna fix up these two plugs and uh, take them fishing today. Alright, so we're heading down to the first spot now, and uh, we probably got about an hour left till the sun starts setting. And we probably could have started fishing about like two hours ago, but I was waiting for the tide. You know, there's no point of fishing and not catching anything than, uh, you know, just waiting for the right time of the tide and then, you know, heading out and fishing less time and actually catching fish. So that's what we're gonna try and do, and hopefully we can knock out some bluefish before it gets dark. And if we can do that here, then, uh, We'll maybe head over to the south side and try and see if we can knock some stripers off with uh, those two plugs that I'm going to be only be using, and we'll see what happens. We got some birds, and it looks like we got some blues out there feeding on top, right in front of us. We're going to start off with the little neck, and I only put one hook on the back because uh, it was the only, you know, good size hook that I had for this plug. You know, I probably I wish I had a couple more that were this size, you know, or I would have had to start taking hooks off other plugs that I really didn't want to do. So we'll try with the one hook. Um, you know, if there's a lot of blues around, it probably won't make that big a difference. This is a sinking little neck. Would have been a lot better if it was a floating, but if it was a floating, I probably wouldn't have found it. You know, this thing was attached to that tree branch down on the bottom tide looks nice a little bit of outgoing current here just saw a couple splashes over this way in range and that freaking thing flies man oh just got swirled on come on come on back come on come on that was a pretty good swirl too first strike Oh, just got hit again. Come on back. Come on. It sucks if they're little blues because they're not going to be able to eat the whole thing. You know, if it's like a 10 pounder, he'll clobber this whole thing. Most likely get that back hook and we'll connect. Let's try the needlefish just for a couple casts.
All right, nothing on the needlefish. Back to the popper. All right, last cast. And if we don't get anything, we'll probably get out of here. Maybe we'll come back here real bright and early in the morning at dawn and see if we can make something happen with these two plugs, catch some fish. All right, so it's the next morning. Same timing of the tide, but just a uh, different time of day. And realistically, we're just kind of hoping for some bluefish. If we can get some of those on those two plugs we found, then I think we'd feel like we accomplished something. But, uh, you know, we really need a big weather pattern to come through, you know, to change the weather a little bit, change the temperature. Like right now, it still feels like we're in the middle of summer right now. But, I don't know, let's give it a try, see what happens. Come on, fish. Notice I switched over to the 250 and the Mojo Surf this morning. Wanted something with a little bit more power, try and cast out a little bit further. The videos are great. Thanks, man. Learn a lot from it. Awesome. Did you catch anything this morning? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's all I'm hoping for is just a couple bluefish. Found what looks to be an unopened Powerade bottle. Let's see. Oh, never opened. All right, so this is for sea money because supposedly if you find an unopened, you know, drink on the beach, you're supposed to drink it. So let's take a little sip. So I think what we're gonna do is move down the beach to one more spot. We'll try these plugs. These plugs aren't like the best plugs to be throwing for these calm, flat, summer-like conditions. You know, they're both weighted really heavily. I'm fishing them really, really fast just so that I can get them going along the surface. And, uh, you know, I feel like a floating, you know, little neck popper probably, probably would work a lot better. Um, this other angler behind me, he caught a couple blues this morning and he's using a floating little neck, I believe, or it looks like he's using, you know, a smaller popper at least. The popper I'm using is at least like two and a half, maybe three ounces. And uh, I don't know, we'll go that away, I guess. And we'll try uh, wading out onto a rock, casting out, and see, let's see what happens. All right, let's give it a shot here for a little bit. Being on this big rock and I'm up a little bit higher, I'll probably be able to pop this plug a little bit more and keep it kind of skipping right on the surface. Fly, baby, fly. That thing freaking launches out there. So like I'm covering enough water, but you know, there's either A, just not enough fish around, B, there's no fish around, uh, or C, you know, this plug just isn't swimming how they want it. There's a fish. Oh, that's a good bite, man. Yeah. Came out of nowhere. No. Did he come off? Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Go figure. Ah, oh, you know, maybe if I had a set a center body hook on and maybe would have hooked that fish a little bit better but that fish was definitely a pretty decent fish probably a blue but I don't know I didn't really get a look at it it kind of was fighting like a bass all right so that kind of sucks we couldn't uh, catch a bunch of fish on uh, the little neck popper and that needle fish that we found yesterday but uh, hey you know that's fishing and uh, this is kind of like a prime example of why I haven't been uploading a lot because you know we've been like stuck in a doldrum like literally the fishing's been slow it's been really hot it's been really warm 
And I mean, I enjoy the weather, but I'd so much rather have it be like nasty, windy, you know, blowing some bait, blowing some fish. But, um, you know, really right now that we're finally into September, that's really what we're waiting for is just some type of weather pattern to kind of change the uh, fishing a little bit. And uh, then we'll probably have a lot better chance to get out, catch a bunch of fish, you know, film and make some more videos for you guys. And, uh, you know, these plugs without a doubt work. You know, there's no question about that. And luckily at least we had like one decent fish on and, and usually the hit anyway on a big blue fish is the best part. <laughs> and then once you get them in, you're like, ah, come on, just fall off the hook already. Um, you know, so all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think what we're gonna do is uh, go up island and maybe, uh, you know, stock up on some more surf casting gear because my corkers boots, the um, ankle support, like the fabric on it is kind of ripped off and there's like a little plastic piece that's rubbing on my ankle. So I'm most likely gonna need new corkers boots and uh, as well as my surf bag is shot, it's like falling apart. I'm like holding it together with duct tape and uh, as well as I need like a new dry top. I think for the fall and since the weather is really really hot and warm and there really isn't much fishing going on what better time to go get that gear than now rather than trying to get it when uh, you know the fishing starts turning on so that's what I think we're gonna do for the rest of the day and if we don't do that then maybe we'll just launch the kayak somewhere and uh, try and do something cool maybe film maybe just fish but uh, all in all hope you guys enjoyed the video and never forget live to fish fish to live I'll see you guys in the next one